team, Octane, Incube, welcomes you. Earlier we discussed, from launch, to landing on Mars. Now we will know about Perseverance in detail, the landing site on Mars, and, why this site. The largest, most advanced rover NASA has sent to another world touched down on Mars February 18th, after a 203 day journey traversing 293 million miles or 472 million kilometers or 10 light minutes. About the size of a car, the 2,263 pound or 1,026 kilogram robotic geologist, and, astrobiologist will undergo several weeks of testing, before, it begins its two-year science investigation of Mars Jezero Crater. While the rover will investigate the rock and sediment of Jezero's ancient lake and river delta, to characterize the region's geology and past climate, a fundamental part of its mission is astrobiology, including the search for signs of ancient microbial life. To end this, there is Mars Sample Return Campaign, being planned by NASA, and, ESA, abbreviation for European Space Agency, scientists on Earth will study samples using instruments too large and complex, to send to the Red Planet. Talking about Jezero Crater and why this location, some 28 miles or 45 kilometers wide, it sits on the western edge of Isidas Planitia, a giant impact basin just north of the Martian equator. Scientists have determined that 3.5 billion years ago the crater had its own river delta, and, was filled with water. It is an inflow channel, and, an outflow channel, and, guides to the conclusion that it was filled with water. It has delta deposits, it would have been a favorable to live for microorganism, and, this delta must have preserved the signs. In short, the mission is to check whether life ever existed on Mars. The power system that provides electricity and heat for perseverance through its exploration of Jezero Crater, is a multi-mission radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or, MMRTG. The U.S. Department of Energy or DOE provided it to NASA through an ongoing partnership to develop power systems for civil space applications. Equipped with seven primary science instruments, the most cameras ever sent to Mars, and its exquisitely complex sample caching system, the first of its kind sent into space, Perseverance will scan the Jezero region for fossilized remains of ancient microscopic Martian life, taking samples along the way. On the surface of Mars, Perseverance's science instruments will have an opportunity to scientifically shine, Mast Cam Z is a pair of zoomable science cameras, on Perseverance's remote sensing mast, or head, that creates high resolution, color 3D panoramas of the Martian landscape. Also located on the mast, the SuperCam, uses a pulsed laser to study the chemistry of rocks and sediment, and has its own microphone to help scientists, better understand the property of the rocks, including their hardness. The seven-foot-long robotic arm on Perseverance, can move a lot like ours. It has a shoulder, elbow and wrist joints for maximum flexibility, with five degrees of freedom. The arm lets the rover work as a human geologist would, by holding and using science tools with its hand or turret. The rover's own hand tools extract cores from rocks, takes microscopic images, and analyzes the elemental composition and mineral makeup of Martian rocks and soil. Located on a turret at the end of the rover's robotic arm, the planetary instrument for X-ray lithochemistry, or, PIXL, and the scanning habitable environments with rimen and luminescence for organics and chemicals, or, Sherlock, instruments will work together to collect data on Mars geology close-up. PIXL will use an X-ray beam, and, suite of sensors to delve into a rock's elemental chemistry. Sherlock's ultraviolet laser and spectrometer, along with its wide-angle topographic sensor for operations and engineering, or, Watson, imager, will study rock surfaces, mapping out the presence of certain minerals and organic molecules, 
which are the carbon-based building blocks of life on Earth. The rover chassis is home to three science instruments as well. The radar imager for Mars Subsurface Experiment, or RIMFAX, is the first ground-penetrating radar on the surface of Mars, and will be used to determine how different layers of the Martian surface formed over time. The data could help pave the way for future sensors that hunt for subsurface water ice deposits. Video links of all the episodes, in this series are available in description. Series playlist has also been shared at the end of this video, please subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon to be informed about new uploads. Also with an eye on future Red Planet explorations, the Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, or MOXI, technology demonstration will attempt to manufacture oxygen out of thin air, the Red Planet's tenuous and mostly carbon dioxide atmosphere. The rover's Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, or MEDA instrument, which has sensors on the mast and chassis will provide key information about present-day Mars weather, climate, and dust. Next we will explore Ingenuity Mars helicopter, and, most important part of the mission, how the samples would be taken back to Earth.